Okay, so I got another one that was unpopped. I don't know how I did it earlier, but I did it so easily. I should have I should have recorded it. How did I unpop it last time? I think it was It was easy. Last time it was easy. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to record it so that way I did it very easily. Very What is going on with me now? I unpopped it so easily. Hold on. Let me get another bottle. Okay, so this is a newer bottle. I couldn't unpop it. It's not really put in right. Maybe I got lucky the first time. This is perfectly popped. This is perfectly done. So maybe this one I could do it. And this is very important for the record. If I manage to do this. Pull. How did I do it last time? <laughs> I did it like really easily. Why can't I do it now? With no strength, no nothing. I, 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 it's too bad I didn't record it because now I don't know how, to, how I did it. Maybe. Oh, here he goes. Bring this up. That's it. Pop. Okay. Bring this up. Pop. Remember that, Felice. That's my name. Pop. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, boy. Very easy. Yeah, pretty hard to figure it out, huh? Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to swish this with hot water. This one has hot water. I couldn't pop it before. How did I just do it? Oh, because it has hot water in it. Maybe that's why it won't pop. Huh. Oh, this won't pop that easy, huh? I don't want to break anything. There we go. I'm going to force it, right? Pop. Okay. Just a little force. Now, remember, if you can't do it, just put a little force. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to just... Let's see which one. I'm going to do the same thing with all of them. I'm going to swish it. And I'm going to do it before you because so you could learn how to use these these things, right? Things. <laughs> these things, right? So you put it on and you bring this down. Bang. All right. So this would be lesson number two on how to do this, right? So see how you can't do it easily because it's got hot water in there. So just get a little help. A little help. Oh, boy. A little help. Huh? Boom. Okay. Just get a little help. And uh, frankly, I'm just going to pour the hot water in here. Shake it. This will give me enough practice for next time, right? So see, this hot water already got cold, so it's going to be easy for me to pop. So I'm going to use another bit of hot water because I want it to be really hot water. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour in here my miracle wine from two months ago. I didn't do anything but just put it away. Seriously. No sugar, no nothing. Just left it alone. Okay? Just left it alone. Okay, so which ones are already done? Let's see. do this I think I did this that's why it's hard to open you see that because it's it's got some hot water in it boom okay never in doubt just get a little help and basically these bottles were clear bottles and they were just pretty much I'm switching it with hot water it doesn't have to be like submerged I want my hot coffee right use that water for hot coffee doesn't matter, right? I'm making a big deal. But you never know. Some people don't have access to hot water all the time. And you never know. You may live, be living in a van and want, wanting to make some, some, some wine. You can live in a van and make hot wine. Trust me when I say it. This one was already done. You can live in, in a van and make wine very easily. Very easily. Only thing is, I'm not sure I would... Uh, if. I'm not too sure I would I would um, do anything outdoors when it comes to food because 
there's a lot more yeast out in the air and dirt and all that. You don't want to contaminate it, right? See, look at that. Swish it around. And watch. You can't pop it because it's got... Oh, I was able to pop it. Okay. Okay, and the last one. This is a good exercise to learn how to pop and unpop, right? These are great bottles. I got them at Dollar Store. Um, all right, so now we're going to get to the nitty-gritty. I am so excited. Oh, my goodness, I'm excited about this. My wine. It came out. My wine worked out. It worked out. Now, it's okay to use this. It's, it's, it's metal, but you want to know something? It's um, it's metal, uh, but uh, I use it every day. And we're not dealing with lemon or citric acid or anything. So it's okay to use metal whenever in doubt. So now here comes the big one. You're going to be so... Well, it's too bad you can't taste it. You know what I mean? There's a little heart to open. There we go. I could smell it when I pop it. Oh, my goodness. This is, like, incredible. This is really, this is what you call aged wine. If I would have left it for longer, it probably never would have gone bad. So look at this. Okay. If you could only smell it, it smells better than the first batch that had a bunch of sugar and yeast in it. Okay. So I'm going to use a spoon to kind of like shake it up. And I'm going to disinfect my spoon with hot water. Right? Okay. Take shortcuts, right? That's how I boil my water, my little kettle. So I'm going to stir this, if you can see what I'm doing. Oops. Hold on. Okay. So I'm going to stir it. You see the wine? This is incredible. It, it, you know, you would never think it's wine, but when you smell it, uh, you know it's a real thing. No sugar, no nothing. Natural sugars. Natural sugars. I am so proud of this. Now, typically, you would um, mix it with water. Usually, you mix water and sugar in wine. But you want to know something? If it's going to be concentrate wine, why not? Why not? Okay, so now we're going to move over here. And I want to try and let you see watch how I pour it okay no biggie no wiggy okay so here's the wine last shot red wine this is gonna be like red wine concentrate so they talk about the, the French and the wine and, and it being concentrate well this is it if there's red wine concentrate this is it baby if there's red wine cure resolve troll is what they call it this is it okay there's nothing added in here Okay, so here we go. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so proud of it. Oh, this was like a pleasant surprise. I took it outside and I opened it for a second. Just took a peek. I'm like, holy smoke, this smells like wine. Brought it back in. Didn't want to open it outside. But um, I just took a little sneak peek outside. I'm like, this is wine. I didn't mess it up. Hit and go back. I'm so glad I neglected it. I set it and forget it. And I kept waiting for the balloon to fill up. That's what I was really waiting for. I was thinking, how come it's never filling up? It never filled up with air so I could pop it so I could let out the bad air. I didn't have to verp it. Okay? Didn't have to verp it. This is like incredible. I can't believe this. I'm like really super excited. I know like a little kid. I mean, I'm not a wine person, but this wine I will drink. See, the last one I did was too delicious. And um, I felt that I'm a Christian. I felt I was using it to make to to have uh, Holy Communion. And so I felt that God was telling me this. This is so good. It could get you addicted back off. So my friend was fighting me for the recipe because she never had such great wine. And um, I held off, held off, held off. So I look in YouTube for a wine recipe. So she sent me something. I says, that, that, that's okay. Go ahead and do it. I wasn't really going to do that one. But I decided, let me make another batch. And I'm not going to do it the way they did it. 
because I just, uh, I'm never convinced, uh, you know, I, I learned from my own experience and I'm not exactly convinced by the way other people do it, especially letting it ferment from the air with a, I, I, I like to keep the bad air out and let the, I let the, I let the bad air out. I don't like to let bad air in. That's my way of doing it. So I let her do it. She said she loved it. She drank it. It was probably done within days, <laughs> you know, cause that, that, the call for that recipe was within days. So I actually, I just taste it. It's not sweet at all. It's not sweet at all. It was sweet enough probably to ferment. I don't know. I guess you need sugar to ferment. I don't know. But you want to know something? I wouldn't. I'm going to use, take this as a vitamin. Like Resolvitrol. This is what I'm going to use it as a vitamin. So it made up to like three bottles. From what I'm seeing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, it does, it's going to spill, so I don't want it to spill, I don't want it to spill, so I'm going to, maybe I'm going to spill it over here, if I could put it in this bottle so I could catch it, it would be great, let me put it, one, two, three, oh, I missed it, I can't even see, I can't see. <laughs> it went over overboard so uh that's okay that's okay Felice you didn't even you didn't even lose any didn't even lose a bit okay great drop a little bit okay so I think what I made is reserve troll because it's not enjoyable wine from the taste of it it's not like sweet because sweetness is what makes it great but that's okay. I'm looking, I'm looking to take this in as, as, um, a vitamin of anything, right? And even take a little bit for Holy Communion. Look at what I found. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look what I found from the grapes. That's how you want to see, you want to see this come out of your wine, baby. That's the real McCoy. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. So what I could do is I could water it down with sugar water and take, you know, dilute it with sugar water. Or what I could do is I could sweeten it with stevia because sugar has nothing to do with it. Look at that. It's got to have some kind of acid in it to be doing that, right? Look at that. It's because it's got chunks. It's got, it's drained, but it's thick. Okay. So I'm really proud of this because if I want to make it enjoyable wine, like if I want to give some wine out, I'll, I'll take a fourth of this and dilute it with sugar water and let it sit and let it ferment with the sugar itself. Oops. Oops. It's going to melt a little bit. There we go. Okay. So that went over it just a little bit, but not to the degree, not to a major degree. I think I'm not going to fill it up. I think it should be filled to the top, right? Is that true? Because of the air? No, it's okay. The air had plenty of space in here, and it's still fermented, so we're good. See, I'm learning, growing as I learn, right? Growing as I learn. Let me wash this bottle. But, you know, this is the way they learned in the olden days, on their own, right? <laughs> no, no bachelors of science uh whatever right none of that now this one over here i'm going to mix it with water and sugar and i'm going to let it ferment by itself because this is going to be my other experiment i'm going to add sugar water and maybe it won't be stevia it'll be sugar water um and i'm going to actually put a balloon in it so i think from this i'm going to add a little bit of hot water which has, it, this is purified water anyway. It's not distilled, but it's purified. It's like a number six at worst. Okay, so. So now I'm going to pop this in there. You see the, it's because the consistency, I guess, or the amount of acid or something. I don't know why it's bubbling over. But this one's going to have some sugar. This is going to be the only one because this is going to keep fermenting anyway. So I'm going to just make this a separate, different experiment 
to make it into real wine, okay? Okay, so I didn't melt any sugar in there, but I'll, I'm going to let you be my witness that I'm, I'm not going to put stevia on this one because this is, an, this is still an experiment. Um, I'm going to put, oh boy, I don't have a whole lot of sugar here, huh? I'm going to put whatever sugar I got left here, okay? It is one 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 teaspoon is it i think okay. so i'm going to let this one ferment with extra water and sugar which is the way i made my other my other um batch my first batch was with sugar and water okay but it ferments even without it you can see that this is what i i would say is um let me uh fix this with this i don't like the way it's closed I like it to be right quick in the center. There we go. All right, so now, let's see if I have a little bit of water yet to push the leftover sugar, and we're good. So I'm gonna put a rubber band on this to mark it, and, and I'm actually gonna label it because I don't do very good with reading what I meant to say with my rubber bands. I'm gonna have to label it this time. So I know that this is the one that's fermenting. And guess what? I'm going to... I could give it a hiccup. Actually, I could I could ferment it and just give it a hiccup, an occasional hiccup. Just open it for one second so it could come out every day. Okay? So I'm going to let this continue to ferment. And I'm going to remember to give it a hiccup uh, instead of using a balloon. That's all the balloon is for, so it could give it daily hiccups whenever something comes, you know, some gases come out. Okay? So now you have seen part one and part two. And this over here is going to be what you call concentrate resver resveratrol. You know, that's what I would call it, right? It smells just like wine, I'll tell you that. Unsweetened wine. I actually, um, I'm going to use this, just a little cup, just a little cup, you know, this size, uh, this is plastic, but just a little cup, a handful of cup, so I could do my own Holy Communion, because it's actually taking medication, now, uh, better than medication, right? Food is, is, is uh, medication, it's the true medication, right? Um, so thank you for watching, it has been a pleasure. I will bring part two up when this is done i will compare this with these when the time comes have a great day